Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to do a video where I basically update the comparison for Bit Farms, Hive, Hut, Marathon, and Riot uh, based on today's Bitcoin price, based on the Bitcoin net network cash rate, and just update the spreadsheet a little bit to combine them all into one, uh, make it even easier for myself. And then I'm also gonna post this on my Patreon page. So if you guys wanna support me there, you'll have access to all this data here. I'll also put on my Patreon page the any stocks that I'm buying or any crypto that I'm buying or selling it. So if you want to support me there, that'd be great. And you guys can get all this information, uh, obviously, there. So obviously, there's a lot has changed in the last couple of weeks since we last updated this. Uh, Bitcoin price has been up. It's been down. It's now down, obviously, to like 42,000 right now. The Bitcoin network cash rate has also increased. So we're going to take a look at that as well, see how that has fluctuated over the time. And then we'll get into the comparison here. So let's take a look at here what we're dealing with. So the Bitcoin network cash rate is at 139,768,000 roughly right now. Um, obviously the BTC block reward is at 6.25. Uh, BTC reward per day is 900 Bitcoins per day, you know, given out to the miners. And the current price that we're using for Bitcoin is 42,408, which was uh, like an hour or two ago when I did all this. So if we look at the total hash rate here, hash rate has obviously fallen when we had the uh, China banning Bitcoin mining and all that back in uh, May and June into July. So it fell to about 84 million for the total hash rate in Terra hashes. And ever since then, it has been climbing back up, right? So when that happens, miners are getting paid obviously less, there's more uh, competition and it makes it harder to uh, mine obviously. So with that, we wanted to, I wanted to update the spreadsheet, see where we were. Uh, obviously we were a couple weeks ago down to like the 119 million. So it's definitely increased quite a bit in the last, uh, last couple of weeks. So that's what we're dealing with here as far as the hash rate goes. So let's get in, into the comparison here. So for, I updated all the information to have it all in one spreadsheet here. So I have all the information as far as when the miners are coming in what their estimated uh, yearly gross revenue is, right, based on when the miners are supposed to come in, that they reported they're gonna come in. So we're using uh, months in operation here, calculating for like six, two, seven, depending on when they're supposed to come in. So this is just an estimate, obviously, do your own research as far as before you invest in any of these. Uh, we have it for BitFarms, Hive as well. You know, Hive has a lot of them that's gonna be coming out uh, later on next year. They have more coming out this year. So we estimated what the uh, possible gross revenue is based on the hash rate and the current Bitcoin price. Uh, we have it for HUT 8 as well. And then we you know, update this as uh, any of the miners provide any updates as far as did they get any new mining machines in or if something else has changed. And right now it hasn't changed anything in like the last two weeks since the last we had the August updates. So I'm pretty sure in the next week or so we're going to have probably updates from all of these. Um, when October or when September ends and we get into October, probably like the first or second week in October, we'll get some updates hopefully from all these miners. Okay, so let's take a look at the miner comparison here. So we got BitFarms, Hive, HUD8, Marathon, Riot. Uh, BitFarms currently is at 44, Hive is at 285, HUD is at 840, Marathon is at 3618, uh, and Riot is at 2793 as of closed yesterday in the market. So current market cap for each one, BitFarms is at 1.1 billion, Hive is at 1.4 billion, HUD8 is at 1.74 billion, Marathon is at 3.6 billion, obviously the highest market cap here, and the ride is at 2.67 uh, billion. Current price to earnings for all these: uh, Bitfarms is at 1794, Hive 2574, Hot 8 is at 2858, and Marathon is at 5582. So, based on the information as far as what they're going to be mining, here are the projections, right? Um, the projections are gross revenue, so this doesn't account for anything as far as any uh, electrical costs, any overhead costs, uh, employees, um, leases, anything like that. That's just not included in here. So this is just purely gross. Um, so we have BitFarms is projected income based on when they're going to get the miners in and everything else is at 191.8 million. Hive, a, Hive is at 183.3 uh, million. Hut 8 is at 155 million point two, and Marathon is at 295.7 million, and Riot is at 262.7 million. That would give us an earnings per share just on gross revenue of $1.11 for Bitfarms, 
48 cents for Hive, 95 cents for Hot 8, $2.97 for Marathon, and Riot at 274. So if we use the price to earnings multiple of 20, BitFarms should be at uh, $22.12 um, just for gross revenue, not net, right? Hive at 9.54, Hot 8 at 18.92, Marathon at 59.36, and Riot at 54.78. So now when we get into the projections here, on the projections side, I go very conservative on it. So I'm basically taking what the possibility of their income is. So their gross revenue possibility for this year based on when the miners are coming in. I take that and I cut it down 50% for expenses, anything else, and just going very conservative on it. So 50% from their gross revenue. Obviously it could be a lot better because I think um, I've provided that they make um, 78 or like 82% uh, net on their uh, gross revenue. Um, I think Marathon is pretty high as well, so is Riot. So I'm, obviously this is very conservative, right? I'd rather be lower on price target than be over on the price target. Uh, so conservative 50% discount from estimated gross revenue here, uh, using a 20 price earning multiple. So if Bitcoin stays where it's at right now, Bit Farms, in my opinion, should be right around uh, $11.06 by the end of the year. Hive, uh, $4.77. Uh, hot 8 at 9.46, Marathon at 29.68, and uh, Riot at 27.39. So based on that information, comparing that to today's stock value, right, which is down here, we have all these here where they closed yesterday. If we look at it, uh, BitFarms is basically undervalued by $6.22 currently. Hive is undervalued by $1.92. HUD is undervalued by $1.06, and the Marathon is overvalued, and based on my calculations here, by $6.50 and Riot by $0.54. Cents. So if we use a 2x multiple for Bitcoin, if Bitcoin price appreciates 2x, 3x, and 4x, this is, by the end of the year, this is where the price, in my opinion, should be roughly uh, based on the numbers provided by the companies, what they're going to be mining, and when the miners are coming in on board. So Bit Farms should be around $22, Hive around $9.50, Hut 8 at 18.92, Marathon at 59.36, and Riot at 54.78. So if we do 3x, Bitcoin goes up to 127,000. We're looking at BitFarm for 33.18 now, Hive at 14.32, Hut 8 at 28.38, Marathon at 89.04, and Riot at 82.17. And then obviously 4x, we're looking at 44 for BitFarms, Hive would be 19, Hut 8 would be 37, almost 38, Marathon 118, and Riot 102. So compared that to basically percentage uh, increase that would be for bid farms today, obviously if Bitcoin stayed where it's at, at 42,000, mining difficulties stay the same, bid farms should increase 129% based on just what they're supposed to be mining or at least what they're providing us as far as what they're going to be mining when the miners come online. If, like I keep saying, if they come online when they're supposed to. Hive would be a 67% increase from where it is today. Um, Hut is 13 and obviously Marathon and Riot are negative because based on my calculations, it shows like they're pretty well valued right now or a little bit overvalued uh, based on the information that I have. So obviously a 2x per, uh, increase in price would be a 357% increase in bid farms, 235 in Hive, 125 in Hut8, and a 64% increase in Marathon and 96% in Riot. 3x would be a 586, 402, 238, 146, and 194. And then 4x would be obviously 814, 570, 351, 228, and 292. So based on that information, this is kind of, um, it's very static here, right? And everything else in the system, everything else in the system is very fluid as far as um, difficulty, right? The mining hash rate increasing as more miners come online. Obviously, all of these guys are getting miners installed, so that's going to decrease it. So that's why I went very conservative on the 50% projection as far as uh, from gross revenue, what the possibility is. Because you're going to have mining difficulty increase, you may have the price stay where it's at, you may have the price go up. We just don't know. But based on just those things, I think the price can uh, you know, get pretty close to those numbers as long as Bitcoin stays where it's at. Uh, mining difficulty doesn't go way crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's just my thoughts on it. And like I said, you know, if you guys want access to this file, it, it is on my Patreon page. If you want to support me there, that'd be great. If not, you can copy it from here and you guys can figure it out as well. Um, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you like, liked it. If you liked it, please subscribe. Um, 
I know some of you guys also wanted me to do Argo. So I'll take a look into Argo, see if I can add it to this as well, to these charts. And, you know, we'll have another comparison onto it. Let me know if there's anybody else that you want me to cover. Um, I don't have a lot of time. I work full time as well. I have two kids and a wife. And so I do this on my spare time. I wake up in the morning typically to do these kind of videos. So with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Until then, bye.